German tradition since 1791. <laughs> Vera Klotten from the Black Forest in Germany, from the Rothhaus Brewery, we have a bottle of their Ice Zapfel. It's a Marzen coming in at 5.6% ABV. Now, this brewery's been going since uh, um, 1791, and it was actually founded in an older Benedictine monastery. Um, and it's like all of these um, these breweries have just been going strength to strength over the years, these German breweries. Um, it actually, in 1806, fell under the control of the Grand Duchy of Baden, believe it or not. Um, and in the 19th century, um, there was some modernisation, some renovations, and a fire destroyed part of the brewery, um, which it seems seems a reoccurring um, sort of story with a lot of these breweries that they get either part of it or all of it gets um, sort of uh, ruined by fire. Um, in 1875, they invested in loads of new technology and. Um, they first launched, believe it or not, even though they've been going since 1871, they first, they, launched, they, they first launched their bottle of beer in 1892. Um, so yeah, it, it's a bit interesting. And like you say, 1956 was quite um, an iconic year for them when they introduced, a, I've already reviewed it, the Tanzan Zappel Pills. Um, but yeah. Uh, 2016 was their, their 225 year anniversary so that's a bit about the brewery let's get on to the beer so without further ado let's get it into this glass and give it a review but their pills <laughs> when I reviewed their pills nut their pills nut was very very good so I'm looking forward to this There we go. Oh, look at that. It's a cracking looking beer. It actually looks like a Pilsner. Look at the carbonation. It's a lovely golden straw colored beer with a one finger tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it smells absolutely fantastic. Oh, it smells meadow fresh, it really does. It's herbs, a bit of grain there. Oh, I could smell some bread, a bit of caramel. A little bit of biscuit, it smells absolutely divine. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. It's really, really refreshing. It's got that grassy notes a little bit of lemon pepper at the back end caramel maltiness as not in multi as in multimeter but as as, as malt maltiness there biscuity This is a really, really good beer. I like this beer a lot. It's 
quite high on the malt. There's some bitterness there, but it's not overly bitterly. At the back end, it's more sort of a lemon sweetness. Um, this is good. Now, to brew this beer, I actually used the best barley malt from southern Germany, okay? Um, they've got their own freshy, um, their fresh spring water, and the hops they use are from Tetnang and Hellertau. And it really does make a full bodied tasting a Marzan. This beer definitely has a defined taste. Now, I can't really find out much why they actually call it an ice, ice zap, that zapful or ice apple. Um, whether they do some freezing in the process of the brewing, I don't know, but there's nothing There's nothing that I can find that they say about where this ice comes into it. In, so I gather it must be in the brewing process, a bit like an ice box. But remember, this is only 5.6% ABV. Carbonation is lovely. It's like little tiny pinpricks on your tongue. This is a top beer. This is definitely a brewery that those of you who haven't discovered it yet need to discover. This Rothhouse Brow um, brewery is, you know, their Pilsner's cracking. I've, I've got their Wit beer in there as well. Um, to review at some point. They've got a, um, a bottle this size of Wit beer, which would be quite interesting. Um, I think I got this in the UK. I got it from a bottle shop, believe it or not, in the UK. Um, I think it's the one in... Uh, I either got it from I either got it from Beautiful Beers or I either got it from a, um, a bottle shop in St Albans. Uh, I can't remember, to be honest. But... Hey, this this is a cracking beer. This is, I love it. It's a beer to get hold of, a beer to try before you die. So look, get yourself a bottle of this beer. You are not gonna be disappointed. All you German beer fans on my channel, you are gonna really, really like this. Um, it's clean, it's crisp, it's, got some real nice flavour to it um, all in all very very pleasant drink so look, get on the bottle try it see what you think leave me a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.